In this video, let's see a new chapter after the chapter of matrices which is named as determinants. The chapter is related to matrices, hence we study it later after the chapter of matrices. So in this video, since it is the introductory video, we are going to see what do you mean by determinants and later on in the next videos, we will be seeing more detail to this chapter and this topic of determinants. We have written the definition, let's see what it has to say and we'll understand it accordingly. Every square matrix can be associated to an expression or a number. So it says that any square matrix that you take or it means that every square matrix that you're going to take will be associated to an expression or a number and that number or expression is called as determinant. Since it is a fixed value, it determines the expression in a whole as a whole, so it is called as determinant. Now if the square matrix is there, the order may be m by m or n by n. Similarly, we are saying that if a is equal to a i j is given to me, this is a matrix and its order is n, that means n by n that you already know. Then in this case, when the order is n, how to define a determinant, how to write a determinant. Remember in matrices, we had the symbol of matrices as a square bracket, 3 by 3 matrix, in a square bracket, bar brackets, 3 rows, 3 columns. Similarly, determinant is written as det A and it is read also as det A, D-E-T-A, det A or determinant A and it is also written in this manner. You write A, you do not write the square brackets, rather you make something called as the two parallel lines. And mind it that these two parallel lines are used in the form of modulus also. You remember we read something called as mod of minus 5, mod of 5. These both have the value of 5. Yes, both these also are parallel lines only, but they are not determinant in this case, they are modulus. Here they are determinants, so don't get confused. The other important note is that determinants always are possible with what kind of matrix? With square matrix. Remember the first, second word, the second word, every square matrix. That means only and only determinants are possible with square matrices and not any other matrix. You will never have a matrix 2 by 3 order having a determinant value. Right? So how to write the determinant for any general matrix? General matrix can be written as A and that matrix would be a n by n matrix. So n by n matrix means what? You will have n rows, n columns. That means it will start with A11, A12 and so on up till A1n, then a21, A22, up till so on, till A2n. This we have already studied in case of matrices, right? And you move forward till An1, An2 and so on, up till what? Up till Ann, which is your last row and last column element, right? So when this matrix is given to me, how to write and how to, you know, show the determinant value? We'll see that. The only difference would be what? You have to write everything like that only. You have to follow the same thing. The difference is the square brackets are not there this time. This time what we have is the parallel lines. That is it. And how to compute the value that we'll be seeing in the successive videos. So what we write is the general matrix will be written A11, A12 and so on up till A1n. That means first row, first column element first row, second column element and so on till first row, nth column element, right? Similarly, we'll be having A21, that means second row, first column, A22 and so on, you move on to A2n. Let's make this two a bit more clear. So it is A21, A22 and so on up till A2n. And downwards you will move in the same manner as we move here. The last row would be what? It would be a n1, a n2 and so on up till a n n. 
So two important things to note in this case. The first thing that determinant although is written in the parallel lines form, it is not equal to modulus. The second important thing that determinants are possible only and only when we have square matrices. The value of determinant would be fixed. You will get a number or an expression like 5 is the value, 10 is the value. But in case of matrices, you never got a number. It was always a matrix as a whole. So in this video, we saw the introduction or the overview of the topic of determinants. In the next videos, we'll be seeing more details to this topic.